Hey folks, this is Mike Antile with Sailfish Solar coming to you with a hurricane edition of some solar tips here today. I just wanted to give you just a quick idea of what to expect during the hurricane and how it interacts with your solar panels. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like and a subscribe if you would. Uh, generally speaking, there isn't really anything that can or should be done with the panels themselves. Uh, the solar panels themselves, you know, there really is nothing you can do prior to the storm. Um, if it is a grid tied system, as you know, when the grid goes down, your system will go down also. Um, but if the grid is still up, uh, you know, your system is still producing. In fact, I'll show you my system right now, even on this, as we're kind of on the outer bands of the hurricane, my solar system at the moment is producing about 25% uh, of its usual capacity. Um, so, you know, leave the system on as long as you can, get the power as long as you can. And if the grid goes down, if you are grid tied, your solar system is going to go down. Um, if you have, uh, you'll have basically inside your solar system, you have an automatic disconnect switch, which will kick in when the grid goes down and it'll turn off your solar system. You also, if it's a system that's installed recently, you'll have a manual disconnect switch as well. Um, if you need to turn the system off for any particular reason, um, if you don't need to turn the system off, you know, but there is a need, uh, for example, for a lineman to do some repairs, um, you know, they can always use that manual disconnect switch as well. So if you do have a battery system, the, the tip there is make sure your batteries are turned on to the highest possible reserve setting. Um, you wanna stay on grid power for as long as possible and keep the batteries charged for as long as possible. When the power goes out, if you have batteries, watch your consumption as carefully as possible and make sure that you are um, consuming, you know, in a, in a conservative manner there. Um, these panels, these solar panels, they're very durable, right? These are tested with one inch objects at 50 miles an hour. You know, they're tested uh, against heavy impact and heavy damage. Um, they're highly impact resistant. Depending on how your system is mounted to your roof, um, there should be, you know, they should be in there nice and snug. Um, whether if we're on metal roofs and we're using an S5 fitting, or if we're on a shingle roof like that and we're using a, uh, a quick mount uh, or an iron ridge system, um, you know, they're gonna be in there nice and tight. Uh, everything that we design is designed at 170 miles an hour plus. Um, so, you know, they're, they're gonna be in there nice and tight. If the storm gets that bad, then we might have some bigger fish to fry. Um, I will say this, you know, that point right there is why local knowledge is so important when you're choosing a solar company. Um, you know, which panels to use and how to design that system is to withstand the wind, you know, is an absolutely critical component of a solar system. All right, um, so once we wait, now we'll wait when the storm is over. Now we wanna go back out, we'll do a quick visual test. Um, take a general look, you know, from the ground. Don't get up on a ladder, don't get up on your roof or anything like that. Um, you know, you wanna be safe as possible. Take a picture of any damage. If there is any situation where you see damage, go ahead and take that picture for the insurance company. If you see anything unusual or hear anything unusual, give your solar installer a call. If you're one of our clients, give us a call. Um, don't, and then last but not least, do not pressure clean the system by yourself. Um, if you're one of our clients, you know, we have a, a somebody we spe work with, uh, they're called Solar Shine. They specialize, they're a professional who specializes in cleaning your solar panels with chemicals that are approved by the manufacturer, um, you know, that'll allow your warranty to stay intact. So those are just a couple of uh, tips, you know, like and subscribe to this video if you like that. One last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to show you my production of my solar system. So I usually will produce, um, you know, right now it's about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. At this time of day, my system is usually producing about, let's call it 5,500 watts of power. I mean, we're going to walk in right now and see, you know, even on this gray day, this cloudy and there's rain coming down, uh, how much our solar system is producing today. So let's take a look. So we're gonna go in my fairly messy garage. You'll have to forgive me, but that's all right. So I have the old string inverter on my, in my system. And if you can see right there, I don't know how closely you can see, but that number says 1644. So again, I am producing on a normal day about 5,000, maybe 5,500 watts. Today I'm producing 1,640 watts at this exact moment. So again, you're talking about, um, you know, 20 to 25% of my overall system. All right, well, that's it for now. Just thought we'd give you some tips. Uh, please call us, text us, email us, with any questions at all, especially if you're a client of ours, we wanna know what's going on with your solar system. And then of course, once the storm is over, we'll send a crew out to do just a quick visual inspection on, uh, on all of our systems. All right, folks, that's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.